Rocket Systems Prime. This is Bloodhound SSC. It's going to be the fastest car in the world. And with me are children from around the country who are investigating what will make this one of the most incredible vehicles ever to be built. It's called Bloodhound SSC. SSC stands for supersonic car. It's trying to travel over 1,000 miles per hour. That's faster than a bullet fired from a gun. It's aiming to break the land speed record of 763 miles per hour set by this car in 1997. It's one thing going fast, a thousand miles an hour, but how do you stop? So, anyone, any ideas about how you slow this thing down? Maybe some brakes? Maybe a rocket in different direction? Well, those are both good ideas, but there's a lot more to slowing down than you might think. So, see what you can discover. We've come to Sandport in Northamptonshire, home of the fastest motorsport on earth. Let's go! We've come to meet Bloodhound engineer Annie Beresford. And away from the track, we found a car that looks a bit like Bloodhound. It's long and thin. So we asked Annie how this car compares to Bloodhound. OK, guys, so this is the split-second car. It's a jet-powered drag car, so that means it's powered by this jet engine here, and it goes in a straight line, just like Bloodhound does. So Bloodhound also has a jet engine and is designed to go only in a straight line. This is Julian, who is the driver, who's the mad guy sitting in this small uh, cockpit there. How fast do you think this car can go? Top speed, about 360 miles an hour. So if it's going that fast, how do you think we slow this car down? Parachutes? Parachutes, that's right. We've got two parachutes sitting at the back of the car. Every time we use one parachute, there's a second parachute. If that one goes wrong, we've got a second one just in case. It's kind of nice to know you're not going to go all the way off the end of the track. We asked Annie if there were any other types of brakes on the car. OK, so not only has this car got parachutes at the back of the car, it's actually got wheel brakes as well on the front of the car and on the rear wheels. So why do these have to have brakes? This has brakes purely to stop it at very low speeds and to hold it on the start line. If you were to use these when the car was going as fast as it does, it would actually just burn out the brakes. So you need the parachutes for the high speed running and then the wheel brakes for the low speed running. Will Bloodhounds have brakes? Yeah, Bloodhound also has brakes, but exactly the same as on this car, we'll use them to hold the car on the start line and then also to just slow it down at lower speeds, so below 100 miles an hour. Back on the track, it's time to take the car for a run. Julian uses his wheel brakes to line up on the starting line. And after a mega fast run, reaching just under 230 miles an hour, it's the parachutes that slow him down, just like Bloodhound will do. The difference is that Bloodhound will go four times as fast, which is faster than a bullet fired from a gun. To join in the fun, some children as young as eight do this sport. Meet 13 year old Paige Wheeler and her little sister Belle. Paige started the sport when she was just 10, but her eight year old sister is officially the world's youngest dragster racer. Well, this is my car. Um, I have a parachute here, then I have the big tyres. They're mainly that thick, so the you know, I could get a lot of traction on the track so I can go faster. This is my engine, and then my car's really skinny at the front and big at the back because it needs to be aerodynamic so it can go faster. What's it like to drive your car? Well, when I first put my foot down, my head goes right back into the seat. It actually really hurts. How fast do you go? My top speed is 86 miles per hour, but we're restricted to 85. Although her car is a lot smaller than Bloodhound, Paige has to consider all the same things, how to accelerate as quickly as possible with her engine and then how to slow down with her brakes before running off the end of the track, all in a matter of seconds. Yeah. 
this is what it's like for her travelling up to 80 miles an hour. Imagine what it would be like for Bloodhound's driver, Andy Green, travelling over 12 times faster at 1,000 miles per hour. So we know how Bloodhound will slow down, but just how quickly will it slow down? Back at the racing track, we asked Bloodhound teammate Connor to help us find out how quickly brakes can stop a car. So you guys are going to put these boxes where you think is best, nicely in the middle of the road. OK, guys, so we'll look over to the side of the track, the end of those green barriers there. That's where Simon, our friendly racing driver, is going to start braking. He's in a family car, but the surface is quite grippy. Nice grippy tyres. Racing driver, he's going to be very good at the brakes. Have a think, it's your guess, how far it will take him to stop. We don't want to hit the boxes, we want to get it close. 60 miles an hour. So that's almost like motorway speed in your mum and dad's cars. You think? So we're starting from here. Is enough? Yeah. Further. 60 miles an hour. 60. There? Yeah. Do you think we should get out of the way then? Yep. Yeah. I think we probably should get out of the way. Come on then, come this side. So, guys, you pretty much chose around the same distance. You're both putting the boxes down about the same point. How far do you think that is? Um, Five metres, ten metres? Yeah. yeah, about nine, seven. Maybe nine, nine metres? Yeah. Seven, okay. seven. When racing driver Simon gets to the end of the green barrier, he'll slam on the brakes. Let's see what happens. What do you think, guys? Are you expecting that? No. No, no. It took longer than you think, didn't it? Yeah. And that's with the really grippy tyres with a racing driver on a really clean, grippy circuit. So stopping, more of a challenge than you thought, yeah? How far off do you think we were? About a bit half. About half. half. Do you think Simon started braking slightly early as well? Yeah. I think he did. I think he was worried about hitting the boxes in his car. Yeah. So braking, slowing something down, huge challenge. Almost as difficult as getting the thing to go fast in the first place. And really important to do it safely as well. So what have you learned about how Bloodhound's going to slow down? It's going to need a lot of space to slow down. Well, the car will be going too fast for normal brakes, so it would overheat. I think it will use a parachute. Yeah, it's going to use a parachute. And it's also going to use these things on the side here, which are called air brakes. They pop out. And as the air hits them, it slows down. It creates something called drag. And that's what the parachute does as well. When these parachutes pop out, the air gets caught in them, causes the drag, and that's how this is going to slow down. And it's going to be quite an experience for Andy Green to slow down so fast, I can tell you. 